The first of his life challenges came when Jim wanted to go to high school. He had to leave the tutelage of his father to attend the Onion Lake Residential School. Conditions in the residential school system destroyed traditional Aboriginal culture and left children vulnerable to abuse. In 2008, the Canadian government formally apologized and began the process of compensating students. While at school, Jim managed to find ways to quietly mentor his fellow students and later, as an elder, help many heal from their experience. I spent a lot of time in the residential school, but like I said before, that my dad died when I was about two and a half, three years old, and I did not have a father figure to, to look up to, and it was very difficult. And I listened to a lot of uh, elders, uh, like Jim, for instance, when he said that uh, uh, love and respect, and, 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 and uh, rather than uh, shouting at people or hollering at your children or one thing or another, talk nice to them, you know, that's what he used to say. 